Welcome back, guys, to the Lockout Men Podcast Show. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you guys being here today. Thank you very much. If you like what we do over here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and all the other buttons to show support for the channel. Let's just jump into it. We're breaking truckers today. Yes, sir. That's what we do over here at the Lockout Men Podcast Show. We look at interesting people that's in the trucking industry, that's doing a lot of good things, and they have the channel and uh, influence the show what they are doing. Today, we are breaking Jay Rich. Yes, sir, Jay Rich, the former friend and colleague of Trucker Brown. Always wonder what happened to that relationship. But anyway, that's not that's that's not for this. This is breaking truckers, and that's what we do. Jay Rich showed up on the podcast Trucking Hustle to talk about getting fired. She's talking about her ups and downs. She's talking about her MC getting stolen and more. Yes, sir. Uh, she sat down with Romel to have a conversation with him you guys go over there and check out trucking hustle on youtube one of the one of the best podcasts for truckers and trucker interviews with real people and everything shout out to my man ramel for doing the damn thing and and having a great platform for truckers to come on and speak jay rich been in the game for quite a while i'd say maybe about four to five years uh i came to know jay rich by way of trucker brown trucker brown brought her in he did an interview with her a couple of years ago they maintained a friendship of sorts and she came on his platform to speak about her ups and downs in trucking at the time she started off at stevens and i believe she did tankers and everything but from there she decided to get her own truck and of course she chronicled it on her platform on her youtube platform but what you guys don't understand even though that she is big on instagram she had a huge following on youtube but her youtube channel her first youtube channel got hijacked hold on what's up rich gang your girl got hacked can y'all believe it? Jay Rich, me, I got hat. You know, my original focus on YouTube was to just basically do my journey in life, you know, but then majority of my content was about trucking, of course, because I'm a trucker. And, you know, I was just like, man, I just worked so hard with my editing, you know, trying to get different people on my channel to help them out or just, di you know, different parts of trucking or whatever and try to put as much knowledge and game out there as possible just for somebody to just be like, oh, I got your channel. So that's not even the crazy part, y'all. So I reached out to a dude that had my channel because he started putting like a lot of um, political things on my channel. Now, y'all know I ain't about to be putting no mess like that on there. Um, but he was putting all types of stuff and I had like comment and I was like, yo, you hacked my channel. And he said, I didn't hack it. I paid for it. Her channel was sold to somebody else. So now she said she went to YouTube, try to try to get some help from YouTube to get her channel back. And it was all for her not. So she started up another channel called J Rich Live on youtube you guys could definitely follow her on there but i don't believe she has been heavy on youtube i believe the 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 hijacking of her initial channel kind of left a bad taste in her mouth so that's that you know and i was like i was discouraged you know i just said well forget it you know it is what it is and she took her information to another platform which she grew and that is instagram so you guys could definitely follow her over at j rich on instagram because that's where she most heavy on let's get into this clip about j rich Lou almost well damn near lost it all hold on okay so two years ago i started my trucking company and i started my authority i grew fast and to be honest with you, I grew faster I, to the point where I couldn't even keep up. You know, I was running more of a, a hustle to my business than actually running like a full 
professional business, keeping all documents, dotting my I's, crossing my T's and everything. So I had to pull back some. I made a lot of mistakes starting off my trucking company. Like, um, I guess because I came in the industry as like a driver to an operator. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm ready for all this. And man, one truck with the five, five trucks went to 10. And I was like in between 14 to 17 trucks, depending on what the drivers were feeling. If they want to work that week, they was working. If not, so... It became so chaotic because I had lost a big contract. Okay. And it was good. And when that, I had all my eggs in that one basket when it right. come down to that contract. Right. So when I lost it, it was like my heart was just like, what What are you going to do? You yeah. know, I had all this responsibility when it comes down to, you know, I had to take care of these drivers. I had to make sure they, you know, get paid. And then I had my employees. So I had to just come to my senses. I said, I got to tell these people like, yo, I'm going to have to find some other work with y'all. I mean, for y'all, but it's not going to be the same type of money. Right. Now, during this time, this was like Christmas time that this happened. Okay. And so I'm having to be the bigger person. And like they say, at the end of the day, as a CEO, you the last person to eat. Big facts. And I would see like for weeks as I was transitioning to trucks, how can we sit and talk to you? How can we, you know, how can you help survive, you know, help us survive? Because you understood failure. Man. Right. And I think in this industry, that's like, you know, even with me having a platform, right? You expect me like, oh, that's Jay Rich. She knows everything and she's making all this money and she knows that. And that's not the case. Right. You know, I had to go through that you know, in order to be like where I'm at today, Facts. you know? So I start getting the people and they like, you know, hey, I want to sit with you and build a business. I'm like, well, what do I charge on this? You know, I'm like, this is something new. So I had to go to my coach at the time and say, hey, I got people that want to sit with me and they want me to build out their companies. They want to basically learn from my mistakes so they won't make the same mistakes in their company. And so um, she was like, okay, well, we're going to put a plan together and, you know, you know, this is what you need to charge for your, you know, for your time and all that. So I had one client come in, right? Let's talk about some of those failures. Like, cause you just said, mm -hmm. all right, so you, you grow to 17, 14, you said 14 trucks? It was like 14 to 17. It was like on the operators I had on a, my fleet A mix, too. right? Right. Okay. So, so what was yours and what was owner operators? Kind of break that down. I own five of those trucks. Okay. The rest of the trucks was owner, owner operators, operators and right. stuff. Yeah. Cool. So how did you grow that fast to begin with? How long did it take you to get to that point before things kind of went awry? Just like, let's, let's start with the good times first. Right. So, talk so about it. April, April, I started off with two trucks, two trucks went to three trucks. Mm -hmm. And then I had got an owner operator like in what, June. And then it was word of mouth from there. Okay. So I wasn't really doing too much advertising. Like, you know, I never made no post until I had that contract. Like on Indeed, I was like, man, okay, I'm really need some, you know, owner operators that have their own, you know, trailers and stuff. Because yeah. I had I had a few of my trailers, but for the contract, they wanted more trailers. Okay. So I had to find owner operators that had trucks and their trailers. So between that time, between April and business started really going down, I'm say about like December. So between April and that November range, that's when I was able to keep up between 14 to 17 trucks. And that was on my payroll. What were you doing with these trucks? What? And you said you had a contract. You I had a contract. You talked about having all your eggs in one basket. So right. talk about how you found that contract. If you want to get into what that contract was. No, I definitely, was, yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. and Because you were able to basically build your company off the back of this one contract. Right. right? All right, talk about that. So it was Amazon. Amazon had, uh, where they needed some trailers, it was high value. Like you got laptops and you had... Uh, TVs, you had all that type of stuff, right? But they wanted us to have their own, our own trailers. So I had that whole contract. So I was able to put start off with five trucks, right? From five trucks, I was like, well, that's like, well, we're going to need some more trucks. You guys are rolling pretty good. So I went from five trucks to eight trucks just on that one contract. Now, my other stuff was still doing like kind of power only loads because I had a um, pallet uh, going from Houston to Streetport. So I had still had like a little pallet because I didn't have, I had drivers that was like, I don't want to leave the state. And sometimes you had to leave the state. So from Houston to Louisiana, I had a pallet contract. And then majority of that was like Amazon for the rest of the contract. Okay. When I had two trucks that broke down at the like, I mean, back to back, Amazon was like, yo, we got to take you away. Gotcha. And it ripped my soul out. Two with the and guys. One Friday, right. You talk with the drivers, but the two trucks are broken down. B both okay. Of them. All right. Both of them. Okay, keep on going. So then I get an email, like I said, on Friday morning. And then I get the driver called me and said his truck broke down. So that's when I get another email. So I had to call, like, hey, I got two trucks 
the guy called say, hey, Jay, we can't have this. Mm. And I'm like, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm trying to, I'm trying to know we can't. This is high value equipment. Obviously, you don't have the proper equipment to run this lane. Mm. We're gonna have to pull you off of this. Mm. I was like, well, no, no, no. We're gonna like I, ch- I ch- kept trying to work it out. Right. You know, like it's like somebody breaking up with me, and I'm like, no, we gonna make this work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love you. We go. I love you. you. He end up just leaving anyways, and so I start having people like investigate, like what's going on, like what is this? You know, I didn't, I didn't get no information on what was going on till a month later, because I'm like, okay, did you get the driver's name and get all this? The guy had the DLT person email me pictures of you know the truck yeah, yeah, yeah. and the VIN number. I need the driver's license and all this stuff, right? Right. So I told him, well, get his number and everything. And make sure. So the guy got all his information. He told him, well, don't move. I'm not going to let him move or whatever because, you know, this is against the law. You know, he was doing this spill as a cop. Right. Um, the guy ended up leaving because okay. I think they had to rotate or whatever. And I guess somebody probably thought he was just out of service, which he was. But yeah. he was not supposed to leave. Got you. Period. Yeah. So what happened was. So he had like a way station or something. Yeah, like that. I he had just, the guy information. Yeah, he was just at he the just way station. He just sitting there and he just bounced. Right. When they changed shit. They had a random little inspection yeah, yeah, and he yeah. got caught. Yeah. So I had the guy information and I started going investigation mode. So I started getting with some of my people and I'm like, yo, I need y'all to figure out who is this guy, you know, that was running under my authority. This man had my numbers. I mean, like he was really part of Jay Rich. So, th- I mean, was he doing it or was he working for somebody else who was doing it? So I had someone in my company that basically had, like I told you, right. they had a whole situation going on. Right, you said and- that. And the people was just like, oh, yeah, you know, they they approved everything. He just was not on my insurance. All right. That's it. That's it. What do you guys think? I mean, Jay Rich, <laughs> she went through a lot, man. She went through a lot to come back to where she at right now. Strong, independent black woman out here doing her damn thing from getting her truck to losing her truck, from getting her MC taken, from getting and from losing one of her top accounts, which is amazon she had to go back and like reform everything that she has put together shout out to jay rich if you guys want to know more about jay rich definitely follow her on instagram and of course she still has her youtube page so you can follow her on youtube that's going to do it for breaking truckers today we broke jay rich what do you guys think in the comments below of her of her success and failures and everything and do you guys follow jay rich hey jay rich we've been good for a long time man we still looking to connect you know what i'm saying so get with your boy get with your boy over here i would love to talk to you i would love to hear your your story and everything. So come on over to the Lockout Men podcast show and chop it up with me. All right, until next time, everybody, stay tuned for the next segment of Breaking Truckers coming soon.